Greetings, Internet. My name is Chris, and this is my guide for the Precursor Maker uh, for the DLC Clockwork City. Um, first off, to get the quest, uh, as you can see here in the video, uh, you go to this message board, and you pick up the quest, and it's called the Precursor. Afterwards, that sends you to uh, this guy's uh, laboratory, uh, Associate Sanon or Sanon, uh, his workshop actually, not his laboratory. Uh, you go down a lift and then you find him huddled over a table. Hello there, are you here in response to the bulletin about my factotum research? Fantastic, now let me fill you in on the details. I found this factotum head in a junk pile, which isn't too uncommon for the brass fortress. I was intrigued however by its strange coloring. I was even more intrigued when it began to speak to me. It gave a repeated message, requesting to find its integral of memory in the mnemonic planisphere. That's where you come in. I need an adventuring sort to journey to the planisphere in order to find this component. Are you still interested? The journey to the mnemonic planisphere is riddled with dangers, so it's best to prepare. Shouldn't be any issues once you head inside, though. My research leads me to believe the integral of memory will resemble a crystal. Would you believe that the apostles don't know how to create factotums? That was a rhetorical question. The sad truth. Why does Lord Se Firstly, I already. Secondly, well, it's. Voice. All right, so we have to find the integral of memory. But since this is a quest thing, oh, one second. By some words, I wind my gears. I am in need of my integral of memory. You can find it in Sector Grid Cube 3Z-A of the Mnemonic Planet. You see, it just points to it. Uh, but yeah, since this is a quest, I just skipped through everything. You've returned in one piece! How gleaming! In your absence, I've set up a framework to contain the factotum while we assemble its parts. I'll have you do the honors. Of installing the integral of memory. You heard the head? Insert the crystal into its forehead ridge. And don't worry, you won't break it. Sotha Seal builds his creations to last. Fascinating! I believe we'll be able to communicate with it now. Why don't you give it a try? Reflecting. Reflecting. Oh, I feel positively spring-loaded now. What a kind, generous apostle you are, which I recall is rather strange. I don't quite understand. I function only to know my lord Sotha Seal and his apostles. You are not my lord, and thus you must be an apostle. Simple. Do you have an inquiry, or perhaps a task for me, apostle? Reflecting. Reflecting. I've come to the conclusion that I am. I have no memory stored of any of my kind who are older, so I conclude that I must be the first. How gleaming. I cannot recall my name, but you may call me Precursor. Of course, let me check my integral of memory. Should be right? Great Sotha Seal in the Sanctum. Someone's tampered with my crystalline memory matrix. But wait, something's burned in here. I seem to have left a note for myself. Ahem. Salutations, me. By now you must be wondering what happened to our memory. Dark forces have conspired to corrupt our knowledge of the world. But do not fear. I, the past you, have stored our memory in our other parts. A circumstance I have not accounted for. This is me now, uh, not the message. I recall that my design includes both Dwemer and Clockwork parts. I also recall my blueprint, so I can guide my assembly once you find my parts. So the seal guide you, Apostle. Astounding! The first factotum so the seal created! We simply must complete construction now. The more memory it recalls, the further my research can develop. Council seat, here I come! The precursor mentioned he was made of clockwork and dwemer parts. I'd keep an eye out for the former as you travel around Clockwork City, and search dwemer ruins out in Tamriel for the latter. And of course, I have your reward as promised. Apostle, I have remembered something. 
Come quickly before it rusts. My right leg, consigned to the nether region of a dwarven sphere fabricator? The ignominy. I thought the Rorkin of Sentinel would show more respect. Alright, there you can just see that that's a hint he gives for one of the parts. Uh, he will give you random hints to each of his parts. Lord Sothaseel deemed it uncouth to give my parts eyes, but each has a wide array of sensors. I can orient myself on Nern by the air's smell and the earth's feel. Why my pelvis even has gustatory sensors, I suspect that's Lord Vivek's contribution. I mean, of course, I have no proof that he had a part in my creation, but I like to think so. My dramatic flair, my poetic soul, it helps set me apart from the rest of my siblings. To sense, to touch, to feel, what gifts I have been given. Alright, so the first piece is the left arm, which you find in Alakir in a delve called Ildunes. Or Ildsun. You see here is inside. So that's the left arm. The second piece is the right arm, which you find in Bankrai, in a delve that is called Clathgars. Or Clath Clathgasar? I don't know. These names are pretty weird. But that's where it is. Here's inside. It's the right arm. Third piece is the left leg, which you find in the rift. In uh, Avangshell, or Avang... God, these, these freaking names. Avangshell, I think, maybe? Here's inside. It's the left leg. The right leg you find in Alec here as well. In a delve that is called Santaki. You can see inside. The fifth piece is the pelvis, and you find that in Deshaun, in Lower Bethaniel. The sixth piece is the chess piece, and you find this also in Alakir, in Eldunes. See, here's where it is. And it's the chess piece. The seventh piece is the spine, and you find this in East March. Uh, inside a delve called uh, Mischolft. There's where it is, and it's the spine. The eighth piece is the left hand, and you find this in Stonefalls, in the delve called the Inner Sea Armature. Here's where it is. And it's the left hand. The ninth piece you find in Deshaun, and it's the right hand. The delve is called uh, <laughs> Messi Tombs, maybe? That's the right hand. The tenth piece is the dynamo core, and you find this in Stros Makai, which is a tiny little island, inside the delve called Basaric. This requires a quest to access, by the way. The eleventh piece is the integral of calculus, which can be found in the mechanical fundament in the Clockwork City. You can see right now I'm pointing out where the entrance to the fundament is. 
mechanical fundament, yep. And then it's up near the lava in the top. Once you get to the lava, you'll fall down, and you'll have to jump over a series of, uh, yeah, I guess, obstacles. And then maneuver around the pool of lava. You see I have my friend Zero Index over there. So you, you gotta do a little bit of parkour here, or what's it called? Jumping. And it's the integral of calculus. And again, that's where it is. The twelfth piece is the integral of introspection, and you can see I'm pointing out where it is right now. It's near the ventral term terminus, also in Clockwork City. To get to this one, you also have to do a series of jumping, uh, I guess you can sort of call it a jumping puzzle, but not really. But yeah, you do have to, to be able to jump. <laughs> so, you know, uh, they can be a little bit annoying to get to if you're not very good at that sort of thing. It's the integral of introspection. The 13th piece is the integral of reason. This one uh, can be found in the Machine District in Clockwork City. Uh, but you need a quest called Lost in the Gloam, uh, which is, I think, the fifth part of the main story of Clockwork City. You see right here, it's as soon as you get through, it's to the right, in this little cage thing. Integral reason. Uh, this one was incredibly hard to find, but also because we didn't assume that it would be hidden uh, behind a quest wall. Uh, the hint says that it's uh, in metal jaws in a wasteland of rubbish, which is exactly what this is. The 14 piece is the nullification staff. You find this in Deshaun as well, in Bethaniel. Uh, keep in mind there are two kinds of Bethaniel delves. This one is just Bethaniel, the other one was Lower Bethaniel. And this is the Nullification Staff. And now to turn it in. There's the achievement. Not that one. There it is. And now you have to do a small quest afterwards. Tremendous. You've recovered all my parts. I cannot wait to be whole once more. We finally done it. We gathered all the parts the precursor needs to fully regain functionality. Oh, what a gleaming day for innovation. I must weave the fine threads of the tertiary connections between the precursor's parts. That will allow it to remain stable while moving. Not an easy task, believe me. I need you to go alert my sponsor, Lecter Travura. Unfortunately, she has ensconced herself deep in the mechanical fundament to meditate on the nature of the sublime piston. I haven't seen her in over a year, but I'm sure you'll have no trouble with the patrolling factotums. I hope you can get through to Lecter Trevura. She's remarkably reticent when she's thinking deeply on the will of the Divine Metronome, which is often. This is again another quest, I'm just gonna skip through. I hold in my head a globe, an intricate network of loops, gears, and strings, all interwoven in a delicate pattern which focuses the strength of all without tearing at the seams. Where do you fit in this pattern? Has my wayward pupil found something of worth? Zanon is an errant bearing in the system. He acts much but contributes nothing, trapped upon the pendulum. I do not wish for my meditation to be interrupted by frivolity. Truly, replicating the divine is no trivial claim. To reproduce the work of the mainspring Everwound takes more than mere skill or knowledge. To create a factotum where brass and soul have merged to one? Inconceivable. Your confidence intrigues me. Very well. After all, the sermons tell us that knowledge is hidden only to be found, even the mysteries of the factotums. Meet me in Zanon's workshop. 
Let us see if he will disappoint me once again. And now you just return. Were you successful in your endeavor? I know Lector Trevura isn't always the easiest apostle to convince. Oh, what a relief! Not that she would refuse, of course. Now, for all that you've done, I feel it only proper that you should take ownership of the precursor. I've learned all I can from it, and I'm sure you'll find it useful for... And see, something. this is then the reward, which is a target Lector dummy. Trevura! Thank you for coming. It's been too long. Perhaps. This auxiliary tells me you've reconstructed a factotum. Yes, right here. It's almost emerged from liminality. Fascinating. How did you manage to refactor the subjectivity lacework? Did you construct a locus a menace to stabilize it? I, uh, the factotum, has a record of all the operations I made. I'm afraid I was in something of a trance. Possibly divine inspiration. Possibly. The reconditioning is complete. May I present my finest work, the precursor. What a relief to be in one piece again. And you fixed my nagging elbow joint. Bravo, Apostle. Bravo. Oh, divine metronome, why do you test me so? Why, an addition to our party. Forgive my rudeness, Apostle. You may call me the precursor. I know what you are. Pendulet. The holy text calls you the oscillating sun. I'm afraid the texts are a tad inaccurate then. Sophocleon did not create me with a gender in mind. Silence, blasphemer. They speak of a fractured creation of Lord Set, discarded in the first era, left with the knowledge to rebuild itself only to test his pupils. Fractured, discarded. I'm just a tad old is all. I'm sure this is just a mistake. Your only purpose is to convince unworthy apostles to rebuild you. Any child could complete such a task. But Lecter, it's not as simple as you say. I learned much from working on this factotum. My research has been advanced tenfold. If you developed the skill of contemplation instead of mere tinkering, perhaps you would know better, Zanan. Speak to me when you've done so, and dismantle that thing. Excuse me? Dismantle? Lecter, Why, please I don't never... go. I still don't understand what you want from me. But Apostle, what of me? You can go jump in a recycling furnace for all I care. How rude. I've never seen such a farce. What has happened to this state in intellectual curiosity in Clockwork City? I'm simply beside myself. Alright, so since I said this was a target dummy, just quickly gonna show you how it works. Compared to other target dummies, it's not very good, I'd say, because it only has about 300,000 health. Uh, whereas a normal target dummy, you should have in the millions. It's still kind of a funny object, though, and you can, I guess, obtain it on all your characters. I can feel pain, you know. Also, he gives you a little audio cue every time you hit him, as well as when you kill him and when he respawns. Goodbye, apostle. Please be more careful in the future. Thanks for watching.